guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm here with my friend Jake, <laughs> um, and he has never done an acrylic pour on a vase, so we're going to do that today. He's also never used the Arteza pouring paints, which are awesome, so we're going to be using those today. He's using a little bit of leftover paint in his bowl, and I have a tiny bit in mine as well, and what we're going to do is we're going to just blindly pick colors from the box. Oh, okay. Yep. So I got rose right. pink to start uh... with. I got silver. And we're going to go ahead and fill up our bowls about two thirds, three quarters of the way through. Oh. I do recommend unscrewing and just pouring. Okay, well. Because otherwise you'll get a lot more air bubbles in there. This is out of silver. We're empty. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to just go ahead and have we gotta some. We've got to call fun. out what colors we're, we get, though. Oh, okay. Oh my God. I got silver again. Eh. <laughs> I got silver too. Obviously, I don't use too much silver, so I have a lot of it left. Okay. And try not to pull any of the same. Oh, pastel yellow. I got vermilion red. <laughs> okay. Oh man, another silver. <laughs> Lavender. And yours is going to be a lot of silver. Oh, this is not even opened yeah, yet. Yeah, this one isn't either. Ho oh, oh. ho. So it okay. seems like I have I'm no nails. Use a lot, of, <laughs> a lot more silver in my. I'll look up for you. Yeah. Okay, right. hey, carnation pink. We're gonna go with another color. We're gonna go neon yellow. Mm. All right, here's your lavender. Okay, now we're going back to the lavender. So mine's gonna be very pink. Okay. Oh, oh, neon green. Pastel yellow. Okay. And it says begin. Oh, Not wait. open yet. That was easy. An unopened neon green. All right. Oh, <laughs> carnation pink again. So you can tell what colors I don't use as much. So that's what this will be exciting. This is my leftover box, you guys. So, like, I just sea combine green. the boxes. Sea green. Lavender. Ooh, that's a good color. Put a little on the sides. See okay. how that's going to turn out. I'm done with mine whenever you're ready. Okay, we might got to fill up around that same. Okay. Chessery pink. I think it's Charisse. Charisse pink? <laughs> All right, look at my super cool bowl. I got this crazy, like, cells already. Am I about the same? Here. Am I good? Just or a tiny bit more. more. Do one, one more. more color. Okay, that one's empty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> lavender. again. Okay, we're going to go with a different color. We're going to go with Brilliant Red. Oh, good. Because you have a lot of light colors. Just going to dump go this entire dump. thing. Yep. Am I good or one more? Nope, I think you're good. All right. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move everything else out of the way and get ready. Okay. Okay, so there isn't really a right or wrong way to do this. My favorite is to kind of do the tree ring tree technique ring. on top. Just pour slowly. Okay. This is going to be so Ooh. interesting due to these colors. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. You're, you got all uh, that all, neon All in the there. reds came or are just at the bottom, so we're going to lose that off the vase. That's okay, because it'll go on your canvas. All the silver, though. Yeah. So my, my vase is going to be silver, pink, and red, basically. <laughs> Yours is going to come out pretty light. Oh my god. It's totally different between the canvas <laughs> and the vase. Two totally different colors. Yep. So now, just to keep any leftover paint that's in these bowls. These are my lowly buffet bowls, by the way, guys. They're amazing. So fantastic. I go ahead and I just put them on top of each other like this. And that way it'll drain into each other. And that's how we had those, that cool color combination. You guys can't see it from this angle, but the back of it has a lot of that leftover paint. That's really cool. There's this great little yeah. dark, if we can, you'll see, you'll I'll, see when I take off the base, I'll flip off. it around. I'll show you guys. Yeah. So I like to let it sit and drip for usually about two minutes. Two minutes. You'll notice that it will greatly slow down. And then I go ahead and move it off and do the canvas. This is very interesting. 
Definitely not colors that I would have normally used. But I think it's pretty good. Looks really right. It has a very uh, like uh, mar like a pink marbling. Yeah. It's, it has it's very you know, interesting. It, it reminds me of very like that Italian marble, but instead of like the dark grays, it's these like pinks and reds. I feel like it's like fighting with that silver, which is causing some interesting reactions. Yeah. Okay, I think it's probably fine. So just pick About it up good. by the cup. Yeah. Okay. And carefully move it off to the side. So I'll show you, I'm going to show you guys it. that. That yeah. was the bottom of that cup. Ooh, and now you can see the other side. Exactly. Oh, that's so rad. Okay, I'm going to move this a little bit more <laughs> over. And then just carefully tilt. Whoa. I said carefully. Oh, yeah. These paints are a little bit thinner. Yeah, definitely. I've, you know, in the couple of acrylic pours I've done, they were not. Definitely thinner were, than the Artist Loft. Yeah, I've done the Artist Loft, which it's a lot thicker than this. So you'll notice though that the doing this over the base on the canvas produces a distinct pattern that you're not going to get otherwise. Man, these colors really took over. I lost any other colors. <laughs> That's okay. That's kind of cool though. Yeah. This looks like a microscopic view of a flower, like a carnation or something. Almost there. I got like so nervous and moved so fast at the beginning. Now I'm like. <laughs> Hurry up. And cut to final shot. Okay, come on. Yeah, you can help it along. There we go. Watch out for your base. I know. Huh? <laughs> okay. Well, I think that was awesome. I that was, was really right. very much in doubt. Also, how cool is this? Yeah, and we can save that too. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Got it. Get point. all your corners, all your sides. Get the edges. And then I'm going to bring everyone in for a close-up. Love it. This was so much fun, you guys. Like, definitely not scary. Go try it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here is Jake's vase. And the vases tend to dry pretty fast. They'll be dry within a few hours, usually. Um, and then I resin seal my vases, which I have quite a few videos on that. I'll put a link in the description. Also, please make sure you check out Jake's channel. Put a link for that in the description as well. Um, here's mine. Definitely one color scheme in mine. I lost all the other colors, but that's okay. It's pretty cool. So what do you think of our project, Jake? Oh, it's fantastic. So much fun. Yeah. And these paints are a lot of fun. We used my like leftover box so you can tell that I don't use as much of the, the pinks and the silver and the yellow. Um, but it shows even with randomly picking colors, you, you can, can make something super you cool. You can have, and it also have something that you maybe don't ever do. Some yeah. Cool color combinations that you might never use. Yeah. That you really, really turn out to like. Yeah. Get out of your comfort zone there. Cool. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Jake's channel. And <laughs> Jake is reminding me to tell you guys about my acrylic pouring workshop. So I'll put a link for that in the description as well. And in that workshop, I teach you all about acrylic pouring. So I'll see y'all next time.